Game changer. <laughs> hey, the Cincinnati Nature Center is raising awareness about bee conservation. One expert at the center says without the help of our communities, bees could become extinct in our lifetime. Mm. Local 12's Elaine Kong is here with a closer look. Elaine? Good morning, Sheila. There are about four to 5,000 species of bees, and some of them are on the endangered species list. One expert I spoke with says the fate of the bees depend on how much work Americans want to do at home. I kind of want to look in here. Annie Rumkey, an internet geyser bee company, so this is what it looks like. Is carefully taking out one of the honeycomb slabs to show each layer. Beeswax will have the honey. So we started with this one hive on the bottom. You see that little hole, that's how the bees are coming in and out. Explaining how the bees make the honey that's eventually taken and sold. A big misconception about these European honeybees is they're going they extinct. Um, our native bees, we do see that there's a decline in their population. So Corey Christopher, an expert in conservation biology, says it's not the case. The real issue is native bees that are used to evolving in North America. Christopher says rusty patched bumblebees, a type of native bee, is going extinct. Last year it was declared an endangered species. In the past 20 years, the population has declined almost 90 percent. Learn to appreciate that our native bees are pollinating our crops, they're pollinating our flowers. Uh, and so looking at bees not as enemies that might sting us, but appreciating the role that they play in, in nature. To help, Christopher says it's easy. At the grocery store, buy organic. In your own garden, use as little pesticides as possible and be a lazy gardener. Don't cut your grass until absolutely necessary. This way, wildflowers can grow, a prime spot for native bumblebees. Rumke says the company she's interning for even has shirts dedicated to helping raise awareness about the declining bee population. We just want people to be aware. Um, it's something you think of and just to gain education for it. Both Rumke and Christopher are optimistic. If everyone pitches in, the bees just might make it. The Cincinnati Nature Center is having an event on October 7th, teaching those who have a backyard how they can help make a difference with bee conservation. I would put a bee hotel in my backyard. Would you? Yeah. I it goes pretty far back. I can do it, you know, like so it's sort of off not the near the deck where you're out there with your family. But, but you do hear about yeah. all this talk that if we don't take mm -hmm. care of the bees, I mean, it's the apocalypse. Right. I, mean, I mean, things are just going to be dying all over the place. Yeah, I mean, right. that's an extreme to do a bee hotel. You can just <laughs> not mow your lawn. That's what the expert was telling me. Don't mow your lawn. Have the dead <laughs> flowers in there. You're and done. That will Rick would never put up with that. There's no way. <laughs> done. You do the bee hotel, I'm not cutting the grass anymore. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Everybody okay. wins. And if you're interested in learning more about what you can do in a about that event in October that Lane mentioned. Local12.com, we've got the information under the Get It Now links.